There was a parasite that used to enter people's bodies and take control of them completely. Along with this, the faces of the infected people transformed into strange four-mouthed creatures. The story begins by showing the banks of a river where some peculiar parasites were emerging. All these parasites quickly started entering the city. Now, a man who was sleeping was seen and a parasite entered his ear. He didn't immediately react, but he felt like he was having a bad dream. On the other side, a boy named Sinchi with earphones on was listening to songs. At that moment, another parasite tried to enter his ear, but due to the earphones, it couldn't get in. The parasite then attempted to enter through Sinchi's nose directly, but Sinchi immediately pulled it out and threw it away. Sinchi was frightened and wondered what kind of creature was trying to harm him. Meanwhile, his mom approached and asked what happened. Sinchi explained that he might have a snake in his hand, but after checking, there was nothing. Sinchi's hand was normal in the morning. When Sinchi went to have breakfast, he told his mom that his right hand was hurting. His mom suggested that maybe he didn't have a proper sleep. On the other side, the same man whose ear had a parasite was shown again. He started behaving oddly and now the man came to his wife, staring at her. In the next moment, he converted into four faced creatures and ate all her wife's head. Meanwhile, when Sinchi was going to school, he met his friend named Megumi, but suddenly his right hand was not under control. It directly went and touched Megumi's breast. Seeing Sinchi's behavior, Megumi got angry and left. Sinchi not understanding what happened. Now, strange things started happening with Sinchi in his school. For instance, when he tried to pick up a fallen eraser, suddenly his hand grew significantly large and grabbed the eraser. Sinchi, who couldn't play basketball well, was now shooting hoops with ease using his right hand. Sinchi himself couldn't understand what was happening with him. Therefore, he came home and started researching to find out the effects of cutting worms. It was then that Sinchi noticed a small eye on his hand, and he was shocked. In the process of trying to cut his hand with the help of a knife, his right hand transformed into a small creature. This creature started screaming on top of Sinchi, and it was revealed that it was the same parasite, Mickey, that was present in Sinchi's right hand. However, Mickey didn't understand Sinchi's language at all. Unable to communicate with Sinchi, Mickey started downloading all the data from his computer into his memories. This way, Mickey gained knowledge about the world. In reality, on the night when the parasite entered Sinchi's hand, Sinchi had tied his hand blocking by earphones, that's why it allowed the parasite to control only his right hand. Sinchi, enraged, tells Mickey that he will cut him. Sinchi then reveals that if Mickey cuts him, he will die, but Mickey will lose his right hand. It's better for both of them if Sinchi remains in Mickey's body, and Mickey should let him stay. Gradually, an understanding develops between them. Mickey quickly learns fighting techniques from Sinchi, who was skilled in it. Sinchi and Mickey become good friends over time, spending all their time together. They are seen in the city where parasites control humans and attack innocent people. One day, while returning from school, Mickey carries Sinchi and takes him to a restaurant. There, Mickey feels the presence of another parasite. Mickey informs Sinchi that there is another parasite present and it's not attacking them. However, when the parasite at the shopkeeper realized that Mickey couldn't control his host's mind, he attempted to kill him. Mickey quickly converted his hands into sharp weapons and attacked the other parasite's host, resulting in the death of the parasite right there. At this point, the police initiate their investigation to understand why there has been a sudden increase in incidents involving parasites in the city. They are determined to uncover the mastermind behind this search. Since she is shown in school, which Mickey was telling about that there is a parasite around us, but a new teacher of Sinchi named Tanya. Tanya recognizes Sinchi and realizes that there is a parasite in his body. So, after the end of the class, they both meet and talk together. They discuss the situation. Tanya reveals that she has come to study parasites, not to consume humans. She introduces Sinchi to her two companions, a student named Shimada and a police officer, Mr. A. Tanya explains that she plans to have children with Mr. A to understand how parasites can survive in human bodies. She acknowledges that they have no option but to eat humans for survival. Tanya promises to find a solution quickly. Later, she offers Mickey and Sinchi to join her group, but Mickey declines. Before leaving, Mickey warns Sinchi to be cautious of Mr. A, suspecting that he might want to harm Sinchi. Upon returning home, Mr. A arrives and ominously watches Mickey and Sinchi. Mickey advises Sinchi to stay calm. However, Mr. A, now converted into a dangerous creature, attacks Sinchi. Mickey fights back to protect Sinchi. Soon after, Sinchi quickly lifted a rod lying nearby and thrust it into Mr. A's body. 
As a result, both the host's body and the controlling parasite were unable to survive. Mr. A fell and now since she returned home with Mickey. The alarming thing was that Mr. A had not yet died, the parasite inside him took control of another woman who happened to be Sinchi's mother. Mickey informed Sinchi once again that there was a dangerous parasite wandering around them. When Sinchi and Mickey reached Mickey's place, they discovered that the parasite had taken control of Sinchi's mother's body. Mickey was now saying that they had to kill Sinchi's mom. However, no matter what happened, Sinchi kept preventing Mickey from causing harm to his mother. But by then, the parasite in Sinchi's mother's body had taken control and spoke through her, declaring that they had to kill Mickey. Sinchi intervened to prevent any harm, but the parasite inside Sinchi's mother used his hand to create a wound in Sinchi's body. A few hours later, when Sinchi regained consciousness, it became apparent that Mickey had assisted in healing Sinchi's wounds using his body cells. Although Sinchi was now somewhat weakened, Mickey explained that they needed to quickly locate Mr. A's parasite, which was now inside Sinchi's mother's body. So, Sinchi began tirelessly tracking its location. Later, the police officers, having found Sinchi's fingerprints on Mr. A's dead body, questioned Sinchi. However, due to the lack of concrete evidence, they left. Now, Mickey's body cells, having been transferred into Sinchi's body, weakened him. Mickey stated that they needed to quickly find and eliminate the parasite that was now inside Sinchi's mother's body. Now, Mickey's body cells, after being implanted into Sinchi's body, brought Mickey's personality inside Sinchi. This made Sinchi excessively arrogant and confident. Initially, he used to be quite scared, but now, with confidence, he did everything. For instance, one day when Sinchi was meeting Megumi, a dead animal lay on the road. Sinchi picked it up, impressing Megumi. However, in the next moment, Sinchi threw the animal into the trash bin, upsetting Megumi. Seeing Sinchi in this attire, Megumi got quite angry and she distanced herself from him. Now, Mickey explained to Sinchi that he had become somewhat weaker, so he needed to sleep for four hours every day. However, this sleep could come at any time and if Sinchi was attacked by any parasite during those four hours, he would have to protect himself. Here, Tanya instructed her parasite friend to take control of Mayer's body to win the election and gain complete control over the city. Along with this, Shimada, another parasite working in Tanya's team, joined Sinchi's school. Shimada was trying to be much closer and friendlier than everyone else to keep an eye on him. However, during class, a girl started playing with Shimada's hair, and surprisingly, Shimada's hair was still moving even after it opened up. This shocked everyone, revealing that Shimada had transformed into a monster after revealing his true form. Shimada, now completely converted into a creature with four parts, was terrifying all the girls. Megumi threw an easel at that creature, angering the parasite inside. It started attacking all the girls, and upon hearing the commotion, since she quickly arrived at the scene and witnessed the creature taking the lives of many girls. First, he saved Megumi, and then, carrying her, jumped out of the window. Despite the presence of many police officers at the scene, none could stop the parasites. However, Tanya understood that Shimada was out of control. She bombed him, but the creature was unaffected, relentlessly continuing to attack. The creature reached the top of the school. Sinchi, carrying Megumi, arrived at a safe place and at that moment, Mickey informed Sinchi that the parasite named Simana was present at the top of the school. Since she and Mickey headed towards another building nearby, with the help of Mickey, since she made a cross bow and attacked Shimada's body directly and inflicted fatal blows. Shamina had already been defeated and now Tanya approached Sinchi to discuss something. She revealed that she was pregnant and would have to go underground for a while. As Tanya left, she handed a card to Sinchi with Mr. A's parasite address, revealing that Sinchi's mom was hidden there. Tanya was also about to become a mother, and now she understood the relationship between mother and son, since she and Mickey together headed to the address where Mr. A's parasite had control over his mother. However, the scary part was that Mickey fell asleep just before going to Mr. A. Mickey had converted herself into a sword so that since she could use it to save himself from Mr. A and fight against the parasites and his mother. A battle ensued between Sinchi and Mr. A. Mr. A had become significantly more powerful, attacking Sinchi with double force. However, in a critical moment, Sinchi's mother took control of her body and was preventing the parasite inside her from causing further harm. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Sinchi quickly took his sword and beheaded his mother. Mr. A's parasite was completely eliminated, but Sinchi was grieving the loss of his mother. Now, it was revealed that the mayor election had been won and Parasite would have full control over the city. 
Here Parasite was assembling his team to eliminate humans. Tanya, appearing with Mayer, revealed that they possessed the most powerful parasite named Gotu. No one had defeated this parasite to date. It seemed like these parasites were forming a team to take control of humanity. Since she, now united with Mickey, decided to take on all the parasites in the city. In this way, our story comes to an end. If you enjoyed the story, don't forget to subscribe our channel.